Good morning. How is everybody doing today? We still have some people coming in as normal. Uh, today's messages, uh, our announcements, uh, Joel will be doing our communion talk today. Um, just to remind you that uh, when, the, when the trays are passed, there's two cups. Make sure you take both cups. Uh, one has juice and one has the bread in it. Uh, I'm sure you can figure out which one's which. Um, starting next Sunday evening, we're going to be starting a youth group. Um, so I'm not sure. I think we're going to do that about 5.30 is my guess. Uh, I have a couple of other announcements. Ronnie is now home. So if you want to go visit her, she's, she's at her house. Uh, so, but continue prayers for her. Um, I did have down here Ron, but I see Ron is here, so he must be doing better. So, but keep him in your prayers as well. He had some issues with his feet. Um, and then uh, a couple days ago, I had my, uh, one of my credit cards was stolen. I don't know if you ever had that done or not, whatever. I, I have not reported it yet. Because the guy that stole it is using it less than my wife does. <laughs> Let's stand and we'll have a, a, an opening word of prayer. Father God, Lord, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your blessings. I just thank you for allowing us all to be here today. I pray that you would be with uh, anyone that's uh, traveling to get here. I pray that you would uh, just uh, uh, be with them, give them safety as well. I just pray, Lord, that you'd be with the ones that couldn't make it today, that... Uh, for whatever reason, I pray that you'd be watching over them as well. Just pray that you also be with the, today's uh, service, with the, the worship service, uh, the, 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 the sermon and all. I just pray that all that would be uh, pleasing to you, Father. We love you and we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. <laughs> How many glad to be in the house of the Lord? Amen. Our prayer is that God's kingdom come and his will be done. Come on. Father, let your kingdom come. Father, let your will be done. On earth as in heaven. Right here in my heart. Father, let your kingdom come. Father, let your will be done. On earth as in heaven, right here in my heart. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us, forgive us. As we forgive the ones who sinned against us. Forgive them and lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from the evil one. Let your kingdom come. Father, let your kingdom come. Father, let your will be done on earth as in heaven, right here in my heart. Father, let your kingdom come. Father, let your will be done on earth as in heaven, right here in my heart. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us, forgive us. As we forgive the ones who sinned against us, forgive them and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Let your kingdom come. Come on, say, it's yours, it's yours, all yours, all yours. The kingdom, the power, the glory are yours. It's yours. All yours, all yours, forever and ever, the kingdom is yours. So, Father, let your kingdom come. Come on. Father, let your will be done. If you can clap your hands. Come on. Come on, see Ethan. Father, let your kingdom come. Father, let your will be done on earth as in heaven. Right here in my heart, on earth as in heaven, right here in my heart. On earth as in heaven, on earth as in heaven, right here in my heart. Come let's give God some praise because he is worthy of it all. Say, 
we stand and lift up our hands for the joy of the Lord is our strength we bow down worship him now how great how awesome is he and together we sing everyone sing holy holy is the lord god almighty the earth is filled with his glory holy is the lord Come on, everybody. This is a participator. Oh, everyone come on, come on, come on. Holy is the Lord. And holy is the Lord. God Almighty. The earth. The earth is filled with His glory. Holy is the Lord. God Almighty. The earth is filled. The earth is filled with His glory And is rising up All around is the anthem of the Lord's renown And is rising up All around is the anthem of the Lord's renown And together we Everyone, everyone, sing. come on, holy, holy is the Lord, God Almighty, the earth is filled with your glory, holy is the Lord. The earth is filled with your glory. The earth is filled with his glory. Yes, come on, let's give God some praise. See, bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh, my soul. Worship his holy name. See, like never. song again whatever may pass and whatever lies before me let me be singing when the evening comes so bless the Lord oh my soul Your rich and love and 
Your breathing is a miracle. For well, the Spirit of the Lord is here. Two or three are gathered in His name. He is in our midst. The evidence is all around. Yes, Lord. That the Spirit of the Lord is here. God, we gather here because you are here. We gather here because you are wanted us, wanted us here, Lord. You breathe your life into us, Lord. And so, Lord, with our breath, we give you praise, Lord. We give you back what you have given to us, Lord. Lord, we thank you that we have salvation in Jesus, that we are no longer slaves to sin, that we have victory in Jesus. Lord, let us not forget where we've come from. Let us not forget what you have done for us, Lord. Let us not take this for granted. Let's not act like you have not done anything. Lord, we get so excited about many other things, about games, about basketball, about football, about golf, whatever it is. But when it comes to you, how excited do we get that you won the greatest victory of all? Lord, let us not forget that you won the greatest victory of all time. That salvation on the cross, that salvation, that blow against the enemy, Lord, that won our salvation. God, we are just so, just so glad, Lord, what you've done, Lord. So, Lord, we don't take for granted what you've done, God. And, Lord, right now, as we take communion, as we are going to this time of meditation, Lord, we just want to remember your sacrifice and remember what you've done for us, Lord, on Calvary. So, God, we praise you. We thank you for all that you've done in our lives, God and for the life that you laid down for us so that we may have life. In your name we pray, amen. Good morning. Beginning of the, rear, the year here, and I guess uh, I recently had to take some uh, training at work. I, you guys have probably all done similar things. You know, now anymore it seems like everything is online, and it's, you know, watch a video, maybe do some uh, PowerPoint-like charts, and then when you're done, you know, there's that quiz, that test at the end. And on ours, it's one of those you've got to get 80% to the credit for the training. You know, most of the questions are straightforward. You know, you can look at those, and there's some obvious things that aren't the answers. So it's like, I got that one, got that one. And some of the tests, when you're taking them, it gives you feedback right away so you know if we missed a problem. But some of them you don't know until you score it at the very end. So I, I don't know about you guys, but every once in a while I find things that, uh, you know, I'll take some notes when I'm watching it. Well, admittedly, when I do the training, most of the time it's like, you know, push the button and get through as fast as I can. You know, it's like, ah, let's get this over with. Every once in a while, I'll jot something down, you know, something specific, you know, how do you put out this chemical fire? That, that's important, by the way, you know, so you should pay attention. But you keep track of a few things, but sometimes the specifics, I'll get to a question and I'll look, and it's like, well, I don't think that was in the training, you know, I don't remember that. Well, we won't talk about my memory. There are things that I miss at times or don't remember. But go through, and so you're like, ah, I can miss a couple of them. There's usually 10 questions, like, no big deal. So... 
you know, you missed the first one. Ah, no problem. I, yeah, I'll get the rest of these. And then when that second one comes up that you've got a question, you kind of go, ooh, you know, this is going to get here. I might have to take this training again, you know. And you go through and score it, and whether you pass or not, whatever. But it, it's one of those that you, you've got that requirement there against that standard. And you're like, wow. And uh, when I was in college, we'd, uh, as you go through and you read the syllabus, you'd look and like, how does this instructor score the test? How do they grade? And what you want to see is that they grade on the curve. <laughs> so you, you remember the curve. You know, what that does is rather than having the standard that, you know, it's like, okay, 100%, 90% is A, 80, you know, you go down through it there. Well, on that curve, it's like we'll take the top score out there, and then we'll grade down from that. <laughs> Bonus, you know, that's a good thing. Or sometimes they'll take an average or something else like that because there always is that person in class that scores 100% anyway, and you're like, really? You know, I call him the brainiac. Well, that's really not what we called him. I can't say that here, so never mind. But that grading on the curve, you know, it, it matches you up against your peers. And in some of the math and engineering classes, that turned out to be maybe an okay thing. I don't know if the instructors were just mean or if they were, uh, you know, trying to go too hard. But sometimes you'd get a test back and you'd look and go, ooh, 65. And well, let's hope here. And you find out that the top score in the class was, you know, 75 or something. And you're like, okay, I guess I wasn't as bad as all of that. But matching against the peers there, it seemed like that's an okay thing. The world seems to have that concept that matching against our peers when you talk about sin or things that it's okay. You know, I can take a look and it's like, well, you know, I'm not perfect here, but <coughs> I'm better than that guy over there. And it's easy to take that and say, okay, I'm scoring okay. Or, you know, you've got the scale out there and you're like, okay, the, good, the bad things are over here and it's going down. It's like, oh, but I got some good things over here. And you feel like if I balance that scale and I get more good things than bad things, I'm okay. Well, I, I hate to tell you this, but God doesn't grade on the curve. His standard is unchanging, unwavering. There is no, no wiggle room there at all. Fortunately for us, God recognized that. And rather than have, you know, the straight standard of grading on the curve, God brought in this new thing that he called grace. In Ephesians 2, 8, and 9, it says, For by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. God recognized that left to our own whatever, we were going to fall short. And there was no way. And so grace was his means, and Jesus Christ was the implement of that grace. In uh, Romans 3, and we've heard, all heard this verse, 3.23, it says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And I have to admit, I usually quit there with that verse. But the next verse in 24 and 25 say, And all are justified freely by his grace, through the redemption that came by Jesus Christ, God presented Christ as a sacrifice of atonement through the shedding of blood to be received by faith. Thankfully for us, we don't have to worry about meeting that standard, grading on the curve. In fact, we don't have to take the test. Jesus has taken care of that for us. Our requirement is to come to him. And as we come to the communion table, it's a time to remember that and to rejoice in the fact that when God looks at us, he doesn't see the terrible things we've done. He sees us as pure and blameless through Jesus. Let's pray. God, we thank you so much that uh, you have provided means for us to come to you through Jesus. We acknowledge that uh, on our own, we would certainly fall short, and uh, even if you tried to grade on the curve, that uh, it wouldn't cut it, because Jesus has set that standard and has got that 100%. God, we thank you for this time of communion to rejoice in the fact that through Jesus' blood and sacrifice, we 
can come to you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.